Hello, my name is Abel, and uh, I am one of the product designers here at uh, Airframes Alaska, and I'm here today to talk about the folding titanium stove. It's our new stove that pairs well with our Nunatak tent and any of our smaller Arctic ovens. Um, it's made out of a grade two uh, titanium. Um, like, you know, it's, its purpose of being made out of titanium is so it expels heat really well, um, it's lightweight, and it's, and it's durable. Um, this stove comes in at nine pounds with the stove, the damper, your rolling stove pipe, spark arrester, and all of this is housed in our heavy duty, water resistant, abrasion resistant Cordura bag. What we set out to do was make a superior stove to competitors um, and offer a stove that is able to, you know, fit full size logs. Um, in this case, you know, this is a 16 inch piece of spruce um, and you can take it and go right into the door and it fits it in there just fine. So the stove is 18 inches deep, so there is room for a little extra, um, but you know, we wanted to make our stoves burn as long as possible because nobody likes getting up in the middle of the night and putting wood in it. Um, so with this additional space, you know, we're able to achieve three to four hours of really good burn time. Um, and you can extend that longer by really choking the stove down, you know, using birch rounds that are, that are almost 18 inches long. Some of the key features that really set us aside is, is one, the size. And then number two is going to be the fact that we have no hardware that's needed for this stove. When I, what I mean by that is that, you know, there's nothing that you can really lose when you're in the field. Um, you know, there's no pieces you have to assemble, little things that are difficult to use with your gloves. It's, it's very, I guess I'd say modular. You know, it's, it's made out of two pieces, three and four if you count the stovepipe and five if you count the, the spark arrestor. So I guess I go ahead and take it apart here and then we can talk about some other stuff. So let's set the scene. You just finished camping. You know, you've been, you've been burning the stove for eight hours. You wanna go, right? Some of our larger stoves, you run into issues where you've got ash in it and it's hot. And you can't, you gotta wait for it to cool down, you gotta wait for the fire to go out. Um, again, competitor stoves, you gotta handle hardware to get the thing to come apart. What's nice about our titanium stove is because it also has titanium legs, you can pick the bottom of the stove up with your gloves on without any issue, walk outside, and you can tip the stove right upside down and dump the ash right out of the top of it. Put it in the snow and then it cools down. Right, so you, then you can wait for your stove to cool down the same time you're taking your tent down. You don't have to worry about burning your tent because the stove's too hot. You don't have to worry about burning your gloves. You can just take it and just boop, dump it out. So as far as taking it apart, um, you gotta remove the top panel, fold the two sides in, fold those two sides in, and then fold the legs up. Just again, to deliberate here, we've got no hardware. So there's no pieces to lose. And that's it, pack stove, and it fits inside of the nice heavy duty carrying bag that we have. So the damper we chose in this case was to use uh, a stainless steel. Um, some of the other dampers that I've used, personally used in the past have had issues with, you know, you throw them in your bag, throw them in your the stove bag, you're using them, they get banged up pretty easily. And then when they get banged up, then it doesn't create a really nice seal between the stove and the damper. And what ends up happening is you get, you, know, you get smoke that leaks out um, you know, when you close the damper, then the stove can bleed smoke. Um, and then it's more difficult to get the stove pipe to fit onto the damper. Um, so we opted for, again, a stainless steel. And in our stainless steel damper, we have two rings, a top and a bottom ring. And those act as two things. One, as a stiffener to prevent the dampener from collapsing, excuse me, damper. Um, and two, when the, the damper or the, the top of the stove will warp, um, there's no chance of the damper falling through the stove. So with this nice little ring, it creates a captive interference in between the, the damper and the stove. So it doesn't matter how hard you push, that damper's not going into the stove. Same thing can be said for the stove pipe. You know, I don't have this thing rolled up right now or rolled out, but when the stove pipe is rolled out, it slides over and catches on the top ring. So then again, the stove pipe can't fall down over the damper. It does have a high temperature spring on the side um, to act as a, a friction stop so that the damper will remain you know, functional and can and hide its, hold its position um, wherever you put it. Um, you will have to use gloves when you touch it because it does get really hot. And then we have a damper on the front as well. And the damper on the front rotates on the door. It's also made out of titanium in this case. This one works well to control how fast the fire burns. Um, and in this case, 
It's really easy to use, it's easy to move it. You can use it without your gloves or with your gloves. Um, and this really provides two things. It provides a, you know, a nice source of light in your tent when it's dark. And two, like I said, it, it limits airflow. And all of these uh, components on the front, including the damper and the, the stove door latch, all have high temperature springs on them. So you never have to worry about the damper coming loose. Um, and then last, we have a, a lightweight um, galvanized steel, a spark arrestor that goes on the top. You know, so when you're really making the stove cook, you can put this on the top of your stove pipe and it prevents sparks from coming out and burning holes. So the pack size uh, right now is three inches by 13 inches by 18 inches deep. And then you add the stove pipe and the damper on the side of it. Um, and it's setup size is 18 inches by 13 by 9.5, which gives a roughly, you know, inch uh, 1.3 cubic foot space. So it's a very large stove. Um, and in practice and in the field, even in windy conditions, I personally have used the stove down to, you know, minus 10 degrees, and I have been perfectly comfortable sleeping on a 20 degree sleeping bag, you know, inside of our tent with the Arctic liner. Um, and the, again, this stove can be used with any of our Arctic oven tents from the noon attack all the way up to probably the 10. Um, and it uses a, a single piece, eight foot titanium stove pipe. The nice thing about this is its pack size and to its memory. So you'll find that the first time you set it up, the stovepipe can be quite challenging. Um, it's, you know, it's important to do it at home, pre-burn the stovepipe. Um, so you wanna take two people, you'd roll the stovepipe out and then roll, like take all the cables off and roll it into its long eight foot stovepipe. And once you have it assembled, take your titanium stove, set it up and then burn the stove. You wanna see this stovepipe change colors, ideally a blue or uh, you know, a, an orange of sorts. And, and once that color is in the stovepipe, you can take it apart and it will hold its memory in the eight foot section or in the eight foot configuration. So when the next time you go to roll it out, you know, you take the cables off and you just kind of let it go and it'll spring out into its eight foot section. So the only hard part is the first time you set it up. So if you go and you take your stove out of the bag, you know, you want to identify your components again, stovepipe, spark rester, damper, and your top and bottom plate. Um, the top plate has two uh, heavy duty uh, captive, we'll call them stoppers on the sides here. And what this does is it allows for the, the, the top of the stove to interface with the bottom of the stove and you know create a captive environment for all four sides. Um, and this is how we got around not having hardware um, in the stove. So we go ahead and we'll start by taking the bottom two legs and folding them out from underneath the stove. One. Two, three. And then we fold our two sides up. And then we fold our outside sides up. And then when you take the top corner, you wanna make sure that the uh, stovepipe hole is facing the rear. Take the side of the stove right here and you wanna capture it inside of the little flange. Once you do that, slide the corner in first, slide the flange on. And at the same time as you're putting it on, you want to capture this side in that flange as well. Push the sides in so it fits nicely inside of there. And then put the top on. If you want to find out more about this stove, check out our website at airframesalaska.com.